This video is about repeating decimals. It turns out that some fractions, when converted to a decimal, never end. The decimal numbers, the decimal digits, go on forever. They never terminate. It's what we call a non-terminating decimal. They go on forever. Watch, watch this example. We're told to convert one-third to a decimal and then round to the nearest thousandth. So to convert one-third to a decimal, we just remember that this fraction bar means division. So one-third means one divided by three. So let's do that. Let's do one divided by three, and let's put some zeros out here so that we can do the division. Three goes into one zero times. We need a decimal there. Three will go into ten three times. And then we multiply. Three times three, and we put the result down here. So three times three is nine, and we subtract, and we get one. And then we bring down this zero, and we get ten. And then we ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 10? Well, it goes in 3 times. So we put a 3 up here. And then we multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. We put the result down here, and we subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then we bring down this 0. Now, how many times does 3 go into 10? Well, 3 times. And then we multiply. 3 times 3 is 9 and we subtract. And if we wanted to, we could bring down another zero. But you can see we're doing the same thing over and over. Three goes into ten three times. We could multiply three times three. We'd get another nine. And I'm out of room on the screen here. But these threes would go on forever. This pattern would continue and would just put three dots there indicating that it would continue. Now we're told to round this to the nearest thousandth, so we don't need to keep going. The thousandth place is right here, so we look one digit beyond that, and that number is less than five. That digit is less than five, so we don't round up. So our answer rounded to the nearest thousandth is 0.333. Here's another example. We're told to convert five ninths to a decimal rounded to the nearest thousandth. So let's do it. Five ninths is the same thing as five divided by nine. So let's put some zeros out here. Now let's do the division. Nine doesn't go into five, so we have a zero here and a decimal right above the decimal there. And nine does go into fifty five times. So I put a five there and then I multiply. Five times nine is forty-five and I subtract and I get a five and then this zero comes down here giving me a fifty. Now notice we're doing the same thing. How many right here we asked how many times does nine go into fifty? We're asking the same thing again here. Nine goes into fifty five times. Five times nine is forty five. We subtract, we get five, then we bring down the next zero and we get fifty again. How many times does 9 go into 50? Well, 5 times. And 5 times 9 is 45. We subtract, we get 5. We bring down this 0, and we get 50 again. And you can see this is going to go on forever. Every time we're asking the same question. How many times does 9 go into 50? And every time the answer is 5. And we end up putting another 5 up there. And every time, 9 times 5 is 45, and every single time we subtract 45 from 50 and get 5 as a result, we can keep adding zeros here and bringing them down, but this will get really boring pretty soon because we're doing the same thing over and over. We recognize that these 5s are going to repeat forever, and we can just put three dots there to indicate that the pattern repeats. We're told to round to the nearest thousandth. What that means is the third decimal place. So to round to the third decimal place, we look at the next one after that, and it, it, it is five or more, so we round up. So the answer in this case, this digit needs to be rounded up to a six. So the answer is 0.556. Here's another example. We're told to convert three elevenths to a decimal and to the nearest ten thousandth, and we're told to use a calculator. So here's the calculator. I need to do three divided by eleven. So three 
divided by 11 and I hit enter and look at that point two seven two seven two seven two seven two seven and it doesn't stop there those digits in fact go on forever so that's my answer is point two seven two seven two seven and so on but I'm told to round to the nearest ten thousandth that's the the fourth decimal place right there so to round there I look one digit beyond that and I see that that digit is less than five so I don't round up so my answer there is just those first four digits point two seven two seven now we were told to do this on a calculator, but we could have just as easily, well not just as easily, but we could have done this by hand. We could just do 3 divided by 11. And let's put some decimal points after the 3. 11 goes into 30 two times, so I put my decimal point here right above that one. I get point 0.2, 2 times 11 is 22. Subtract and I get 8 and I bring down the 0. And now 11 goes into 80 seven times and eleven times seven is seventy seven so I subtract and I get three and then I bring down this next zero and you can see the pattern repeating just as I had thirty up here I have thirty down there eleven goes into thirty two times so eleven times two is twenty two I subtract I get eight bring down the zero and I get eighty just as I had an 80 right there, I now have an 80 right here. And 11 goes into 80 seven times. Whoops, let me get that matching color there. Seven times 11 is 77. And I subtract, I get three, bring down another zero, I'd have a 30 again. And this process just goes on and on. I would end up with 0 .272727 27, and so on forever. Rounded to the nearest 10 thousandth, it's that, 0.2727. Now I also want to make a couple of comments about the notation. You should understand the notation for repeating decimals. And the word notation just means how we write it, how it's written, how it's notated or written down. And we'll look at the examples that we've uh, calculated already. One third came out to be 0.3 repeating and one common notation is just to write enough digits, two or three, two would be enough in this case, and then put the dot 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 and those three dots, those three periods, indicate that the pattern repeats. So five ninths, and we've seen this already, five ninths could be written as 0.55 repeating. And um, here's another one, watch this, five twelfths. If we do this on the calculator, watch this, five divided by 12. Five divided by 12. Look at that, 0 0.4166666 and so on. The 4 and the 1 are there, but the, then it's the 6 and only the 6 that's repeating. And you can see the calculator rounds the last digit. Those 6's really go on forever. So we would write it like this, 5 twelfths 5 12 is equal to 0.4166 repeating. And again, if you wanted to, you could put in an, an additional 6. You could put in as many as you want. But generally, 2 is considered enough to establish the pattern. And then the three dots right there mean that that pattern continues. There's another notation called a bar notation, which is also really good. One third could be written like this, 0.3 with a bar over it. And you put a bar over the digit that repeats. That means the same thing as 0.33333 and so on. Five ninths could be written as 0.5 with a bar over it, or 0.5 repeating is how we would say it. And five twelfths could be written as 0.416 and you put a bar over the 6 indicating that the 6 repeats. And here's some more. 3 elevenths could be written as 0.27 and I put a bar over the 2 and the 7. That means that the 2 and the 7 repeat. It's 0 0.272727 27, and so on. 23 over 15. Let's take a look at that. 23 divided by 15 comes out to 1.53 and you see the 3 repeats 1.53 so I put a bar over just the 3 and then this last one's pretty interesting 50 divided by 7 take a look at this 50 
divided by 7. And look at that, 7.142857. And that, that whole set of digits repeats. You see it's starting to repeat again there with the 1.4. This is, the answer is 7.142857. And we put a bar over all of that, indicating that that whole set repeats. 7.142857, 142857, and so on.